back to another video on my channel. We are currently in the Port C Sorrento area here in Victoria, so I thought I'd bring you along. We've already had lunch and we stopped at the Port C Hotel. Beautiful. And now we're at the London Bridge Lookout. Wow. So the Melbourne weather is very temperamental at the best of times, but we have actually come down here on such a beautiful day. I am blown away. I have not explored much of Victoria, so uh, with Andrew and I looking for work here, we are hoping to settle here for a little bit. There is so much to see and do in this state, and I, I've got literally got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see that. Just thinking about the adventures we're going to have. Oh, I think I see the London Bridge. Wow, this is insane. I am already blown away by Victoria's beauty. Oh my goodness. Just make sure you come here on a nice day because crap weather, it's probably not going to look like this. So we made it to our next stop. We've made our way to Sorrento Beach here. We've parked the car for about an hour, five dollars if you're interested. And then we're literally just walking around the bay here. And whoa, I have polarizing lenses on, but the water here is unbelievably beautiful. It won't pick it up in that bit. I'll show you another clip. So we're just walking along the jetty here. There is a restaurant behind me. Only 10 people allowed on this jetty, and apparently, no group photos are allowed. But I am stunned at how beautiful this area is. I don't think my mouth has like fully come back up. It's still on the floor. So we have plonked ourselves on the pier for a little sit down and just admiring the view in front of us. This is the second day of summer. Officially summer here in Australia now. It was yesterday, the 1st of December. Couldn't have asked for a better day. Perfect temperature. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. All you need is a light jacket. <laughs> name that movie so we've come to our next spot we've just had a coffee in the town uh, center we went to flat black and coffee was good there so if you're looking for a coffee place when you come to Sorrento that's an option now we're on our way to Jubilee Point um, we've decided we're gonna stay here for dinner so we're just gonna chill out and check out a few beaches along the way before dinner so yeah, let's go check out Jubilee Point. This is also actually located in the Morning, Mornington Peninsula National Park. So yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. So I believe we've just made it to Jubilee Point and what a view. I'll put a better clip here, but wow. Um, and then not far away from here is Diamond Bay apparently, which also comes up on Google Maps. For a little wonder, I'm kind of hoping that we don't see any snakes um, while we're here. I did see a snake skin at the last last look at. Holy, holy crap, guys! Wow. That's insane. Okay, so we have driven only a short four minute drive from Jubilee Point to Diamond Bay. You can walk there via Jubilee Point. Probably would take you 10 or so minutes to walk there, but we want to move the car along with us. So 
we drove. So let's go check out Diamond Bay. made it to Bay of Islands uh, which is right next door to Diamond Bay if you park the car at Diamond Bay there is a walk that you can do and it'll bring you out to uh, a lookout so you can look at Diamond Bay and Bay of Islands together uh, it's very quiet as well but it is a Friday I mean look stunning it's a beautiful day to be out about exploring Wow I'm just happy I'm just a happy little bit of my day. We've just made it to Mount St. Paul Lookout. Stunning is an understatement. This You get 360 views of Sorrento and Portsea and other neighboring little seaside towns up here. And wow. Also, I have my microphone muff on me. I just don't know how well you're gonna hear me. So we'll see when I edit this. So now we're on our next lookout. We are going to Spray Point Lookout, I think it is. While we were driving up here, we saw a sign saying, it was a handmade sign, it wasn't a legitimate sign, but it said a kidna's crossing here. And then we saw an echidna. So cute. Um, trying to get on film, but we weren't quick enough. Went to go back, look, uh, went to go and look at it after we parked the car. Couldn't see it, unfortunately, but we saw an echidna, guys. Okay, so we've come to another little lookout spot on the other side of the bay. It's called Millionaire's Walk. This is also on that Uncovering Hidden Gems map that I purchased. Um, wow. making our way through um, Millionaire's Walk and we are just blown away by the private beaches that these houses have. You literally walk through a pathway this way, um, go through gates and you have to close them. I never would have thought to have come here if it wasn't for that little recommendation on the map. Okay hey guys, so we've just come to another little spot here. We had dinner at the Continental Inn at Sorrento there. Food was pretty good, but a little bit expensive, but the atmosphere was amazing. Um, and we've come to a spot called The Pillars. Bit of a hard one to get to. There's parking, but you have to kind of walk through a, a danger zone. So be careful if you're coming here. Um, you can probably walk down to the bottom and jump off into the water, but we're obviously not doing that. I don't feel comfortable walking through that. So we're just here to admire the sunset and yeah, show you around.
so we've made it to the Bay of Islands. It's just called Bay of Islands, sorry. This is annoying. 